Hello everybody and welcome back, or welcome to the S1100 build, if you didn't see the unboxing it will be linked in the description, as well as the parts list whenever I get round to it. Um, so as you see I've begun by putting the Tower Pro MG9s in, made sure they were working, gun level, put the arm on, there is a screw, a divot here to get to the screw to change if needed, glued in, wires are just underneath, I did have to cut a little bit out, here to get them to fit. Same on the other side, masking tapes and get it out easily. I then moved on to the motors. So here are my T motors. Let's see. Uh, if you wonder why, why it's quite so messed up on the end. Basically, the way that this works, if I get the other one that isn't glued on yet. Jesus. Um, so as you can see, this wooden piece glues onto the back of the carbon. So what I recommend is cover the inside with Vaseline, as you can see there. Screw it to the carbon, then glue onto the carbon, then, then squish the plywood onto it. These are the screws that come in the kit. Now, when I glue this first one, I tried just gluing it in. And it didn't really work, the one that's glued in at the moment, the first time. Because it's as if it sort of glued to the... Um, uh, mold releaser, so make sure you sort of file the inside of the foam now remember that the carbon piece is going on the inside of this track so this bit is the bit that you need to file, just sort of get some of the mold release off also file the back of the wood, I've also, before I glue them together, file the carbon and the wood on the other side I glue them together just medium uh, hobby king glue uh, so yeah, I'm just going to do some sanding glue that in there and that is our motors installed. Okay, so the next bit is a little bit weird. So, you've got, when I pause this, some sort of plastic thing here. Um, that's actually what it's meant to look like. Uh, and the idea is that you're meant to sort of have this carbon, so you get two short tubes, um, shorter narrow diameter tubes, and then you get a narrow diameter longer tube, and then you get this sort of big thick one in the middle. Um, and the idea is that this, this, this bit and this bit glue in on both sides and then you put the carbon rod into this sort of nodulate that's a technical term, nodulate here and then you screw it in to keep the wings on um, to be honest with you I didn't know the wings were detached before when I ordered this plane and I'm not that bothered to be brutally honest um, so what I am considering doing, because I've actually broken this one, as you see, it's, it's, it's different to that. Basically, the tube won't go all the way up here, and I've managed to split the tube. If it is carbon fibre, it's not very good carbon fibre. Um, I've split it very easily, uh, this tube. Um, and also, I've managed to get some something in my finger there. Very painful whenever I touch anything, so possibly a carbon splinter or whatever it is. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Because at the moment, this won't go as far up as it needs to be. So I'm probably going to cut a bit of this tube off. And then, um, I'm actually going to glue these wings together, um, and that will be how it stays. So, uh, yeah, a little bit disappointing about that. Okay, so, we are back with the S1100. It's been a few days, actually possibly two weeks. Um, but, I, as you can see, the wings are now glued on. Um, I had issues, there's like a plastic thing, I think I sh sh showed this in the previous clip, that broke on both sides. Well, I broke one on purpose on one side to try and work out something, but one broke generally by accident. So what I ended up doing is, so you have this big tube, you have a small tube that sticks out either end, and then this weird sort of plastic thing in the middle. So I glued in the tube and the plastic bit on both ends, um, and then glued in this top foam piece just with super glue, and then for actually gluing this bar in, because it is glued under here. Um, actually, no. No. I then assembled one side, so so this take these covers back off again. So, the little bit of tube and plastic bit is glued in, that's it. I then um, assembled the wing, um, so that the tube's in, and it was, it was pushed all the way in at that end. I used actually the glue from the Mini, uh, not the Mini, the My Twin Dream. Uh, the little white tube of glue from that, because it's incredibly runny, but seems to be quite good stuff actually. Um, and sort of covered all the inside of here, covered the inside of the foam on that side. Um, sanded everything of course, because uh, there is quite a lot of mould release on this, and I've had issues where the glue is just sort of stuck to the mould release and then take the mould release off, because obviously the mould release is meant to stay on the foam. Um, 
So yeah, I did one wing first, so the tube was just sticking out one end and then did the other one. So these were all glued in one piece. This bottom bit is still off, um, because obviously I've got to wire the speed controllers in and wire the aileron, uh, or elevons I suppose technically, in. Um, I'm probably going to put like a video transmitter or something in here. Um, I've also glued in the carbon fibre on here, and have a look at the floor for a second. Uh, I've also glued in these carbon fiber pieces, which I like a lot more. I never got on with the X800, it flew once and got ruined immediately because it may or may not have hit a cliff face. Um, so yeah, that plane needs to be scrapped. Sorry if you haven't heard the story about that, right? but yeah, I like this a lot because I think the problem with the other one was it was flexing and doing all sorts of weird things. It's not going to flex, it's going to put the control a lot further down the elevon. If I sort of, whoops, that's not good. If I zoom out a little bit, that's how much it's actually putting the force of the servo across. So you can see there's a lot less chance of it flexing, and this is a lot looser than the other one is. Um, but yeah, also, because of a plane that I may or may not have done there, um, I'm actually going to be um, putting an FY41 in this, I've decided. Um, or I think I've decided. I may just buy another S1100. Uh, no, another S1100. Another... Um, a 405 wing, uh, but I'm not sure. Um, the reason why I'm thinking that, just to sort of explain, is because when I'm testing the Dart, I kind of fancy... I'll have a look at it, but because my other Dart has a, a 405 wing, it'd be nice if I could set them both up on the same thing. But at the same time, it could also be different having the... because there's room in that for full FY41 set up, whereas the only reason why I got into iNav and F405 boards and things like that was because that's so small, couldn't fit all the cables for an FI41. So, I don't know, scratch that, I don't know if it's going to be... Because the main reason I'm doing that is I want to know what to put in my multiplex Funjet FPV. I prefer it to be an FI41, because I know fully how those works and they're fully tested and happy with it. Um, but, they take up a lot of room because of cables and the extra boxes and things which I don't really have room for in a fun jet so if I could have an F405 in it instead that could make life a lot easier but um, yeah this is the S1100 and I've talked about two other planes for a lot longer than the S1100 probably in this clip but um, yeah so we're just waiting at the moment uh, for me to do more stuff on this it's actually there's nothing stopping me um, now it's electrics um, I'm probably going to get, the way I usually do things is I get it to a plug and play state and then add FPV kit. So, I need to run servo leads to the middle, get the speed controls installed and have the power leads running up to here. And then we can decide what flight controller is going in this bay here. But, um, yeah, um, we'll see what happens in the next one. Because uh, this is going to be the end of part one of the build, because uh, I need a video, essentially. And it's about ten minutes, I think, this so far, so should be good. But anyway, remember to like and subscribe and stuff, because... I should ask more people to subscribe more. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in the next one. And now I'm going to unbox the Dart XL. Fun times.